Hello again everyone, on my last trip down the boat with the dogs, they had a wait of a time down there. We managed to get more or less all the jobs done that need doing before we can go sailing. Each night after we finished work, we had uh, a play on the beach. And as you'll see, we had the beach to ourselves. I love it on Crow Point, even when it's empty like this, it just reminds me of Sardinia. Beaches galore and nobody on them. Two boats, the one, the small one the Polish guy made there is pretty good. Anyway, the second day there, and as we're getting everything to go on to the boat, and uh, the first day we didn't do a lot because it was straight and backwards and forwards in the mud, I'll show you in a minute. The second day there's the boat now, she's been pulled in quite close to the shore. As you can see, any second now, I put a third wire onto her, and that wire stops the wind and the tide taking her out as the tide goes out. But it still allows her to go up when we get high tides, which is not far off the top of that bank. Okay, there's the boat. When we The first day we got in her, basically all we did was check her out and put a few electrics on. We've now got cigarette sockets and all the USB fittings, because a lot of my stuff that I have on the boat are run off USB. The compass is fitted and uh, tuned up proper to allow for any defect in the elect you know, electrical field around it. The regulator is fitted for the um, solar panel, and the solar panel's up, well there's the solar panel there, but uh, we soon had it on the roof, and we had it fixed in with a normal cigarette socket fitting. That way if I slide the roof that it's on backwards and forwards without allowing the room for the cable, it won't do any damage, it'll just disconnect the cable. And that's the last bit you disconnect when you disconnect, the first bit, sorry, you disconnect when you're disconnecting the solar panel. The anchor's all made up with the chain and, and 300 foot of rope. Then tomorrow, or the next day, I made up the parachute anchor. A uh, cup of tea time, yes, and I'm, it was cold on the morning, second day, and the gas bottle was actually froze. I had to light the stove up on a little bit of gas, then put a bottle over the heat and get it to work to boil my kettle. But not a problem. Anyway, there's the regulator now with the solar panel connected, and it's working really good. It's 20 watt unit, it puts out 1.46 volts, I think it is. Everything on the boat is disconnects instantly with two um, disconnectors there. Cut out switches, call them, I'm not one for terminology. And there's the fitting, it's just normal fitting right through. I actually drained a lot of power out of the battery, it took 15 minutes or 10 15 minutes draining the battery down. So as the panel unit was saying the battery was below par and then I let it charge back up it took basically 10-15 minutes to put the power back in that it took out so I think on a good day the panel is going to be a well worth having. There's the boat now I need to get all the kit out. There's little blobs on the roof there there's um, six lights go up there these touch lights they burn for a hundred hours so that saves me running off the, the boat battery on, on long evenings. There's the panel, that swings round in the doorway as I've already shown you. I've just got to make room on there now for me um, chart plotter that I'm putting on there. And then I've got everything. I've now got the, the radio working with the digital signal, you know, for the emergency call. That's working off my GPS. There's the battery bay underneath, out the way. I've got two batteries to go in there now. So we shouldn't be stuck for power on the, the, the weeks we're down there. And on the weeks on the home it'll be charging up. There's all the kit now ready to go back to the van. I took it all back to the van but we actually stayed down the, down the boat for six days. It, believe it or not, even though it's freezing on night time, it's warm sleeping in my little van. Especially with the water bottle. Now you can see the first day we was there, that's how far out the boat was. That was my walking backwards and forwards to it. And uh, now it's in close, as you can see, only 20 foot out, so it's a damn sight easier to get on with. All I'm waiting for now, I've got a few things to take down, the cushions that go inside and go down with me next time. Now I know the boat's not uh, leaking any water in. And as I say, there's the kit, the sea anchor goes in there. I've got to get some flares now to go in there. I've got flares and everything, but all, I, all I'm left getting now, all I need, is a flotation suit or a dry suit and um, some flares, and I've got everything. Anyway, roll on Easter, like I say, watch this space because the boat is now all ready to go. I've had the cells up, which is basically complete. 
watch this space. Thanks for watching. P.O.